Hey guys, T.A. Master back in our video, and today we're doing an unboxing video, so my dad ordered me this uh, laptop cooler because he wanted to increase the life of my laptop, and I'm always up for better temperatures, PC Master Race, may your frame rates be high and your temperatures low, my temperatures aren't exactly low, it's a laptop, what do you expect, so he got me this Habit um, cooling pad for my laptop, so we're going to open it and test it out, uh, I'll do a Fallout 4, so we're going to do Fallout 4 as our benchmark, because it's probably the most intensive, um, we'll do Battlefront, we'll do Star Wars Battlefront, because that's pretty intensive, and Fallout 4, and we'll do it without this, and with this, to see if our temperatures improve, so let's go ahead and open the thing, um, so, just getting it to an angle you guys can see, so... I'm gonna unmatch this. Oop, there we go. Really easy to open. Um, so the bubble wrap's nice and poppy. Uh, that's nice. Wait, let's pop some real quick. Ah, uh, uh, it's so fun. Anyway, so here we are. So it's it's pretty basic. Just you got three fans and just. Um, there should be a USB port around here somewhere, because there's one, uh, so this is where you latch it onto your computer, um, there should be two USB ports here somewhere, because you, okay, there's the two USBs, and the turn on or off for it, it's for the, um, fan, I believe, not the computer, so you have two USB ports around here, one for power, and one just for anything else so that could be a good place like to put a microphone or a controller or something so we have it uh we're gonna go test it out um we're probably gonna play uh fallout and battlefront for five minutes we'll see if this improves frame rates too so let's go uh, so now it's plugged in right here just usb and it also goes around back so let's turn it on uh, if i can find it so it should be turning on yeah, it is. Like, you can see. Like, it generates a. Like, see against my mouse, it generates a blue light. That's not normal. Um, what if I. Yep. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, we're gonna start with Fallout 4. Uh, I basically have Fallout 4 around high ultra settings. High ish. I'd say high ish. So, we're gonna start that. We're gonna play for five minutes, and we're gonna play. Battlefront around higher settings. So let's see how we launch Fallout 4. We're gonna so we have the fan off right now. Uh we're gonna play it for five minutes without the fan. See how the temperatures go, then we're gonna turn on the fan for five minutes, see if there's any different temps and maybe even frame rate. And then we're gonna do the same thing for Star Wars Battlefront. So see Fallout um temperatures have gone up twenty Celsius. We're just standing here right now, but I'm gonna walk around a little and see if that ramps it up a little. So the GPU temperature staying about the same, um, around 74, 75, but the CPU is fluctuating a little. Heck, the GPU is actually going down a lot now because I'm out of the Fallout tab. Uh, but once I once I go back in, it'll go up. And it also says my GPU loads at zero, um, which it's again because I'm out of the tab. I don't think I could be getting 30 FPS in Fallout 4 with um, just until 4600 the i5 can carry that much weight um but anyway yeah the temperatures are kind of hot with the um just stock fans inside the laptop so we're gonna play for about three more minutes and then we're gonna turn on the external fans. okay so i've been so it's 546 now i started around like 541 or so um, the hottest I saw the CPU get was 88 Celsius, which, um, yeah, that's not exactly the best temperature for a CPU. The hottest I saw a GPU get was 80, um, and that was when I was, uh, harvesting some crops, so apparently that's, like, a good benchmark for performance, since I had a frame drop or two then, because... It had to add stuff to my inventory and stuff, and I was looking down and up. So now we're going to turn the fan on and observe temperatures. You see a bit of a temperature drop. Um, the CPU 
uh, it was it 81? That, that's a little cooler than it was at first, and I'm doing the exact same thing. Believe me, the CPU load probably shouldn't be 12. It's just because I'm out of the Fallout tab. And even the integrated fans noises go down when I go out of the tab. So, yeah, that's why probably this isn't. But the heart, so, yeah. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, some improved temperatures already, but we've barely started well, the benchmark. Well, again, um, I saw the CPU was at 78, and I think the um, GPU was around 75. So, again, improved temperatures by about 5 degrees on both. So, so let's take this to a bit of a less um, intensive area and see if that does anything. For temps, I don't know why I didn't do this with... Um, just to integrate fans too, but we're gonna go to the area surrounding Vault 111 and see how the temperatures are there. So, so yeah. let's take this to a bit of a less um, intensive area and see if that does anything. For temps, I don't know why I didn't do this with um, just to integrate fans too, but we're gonna go to the area surrounding Vault 111. And see how the temperatures are there. So in this yeah. area, we have a higher average frame rate of about 40 instead of like 30 or 35. But the temperatures are pretty much the exact same. So that's going to pretty much conclude our testing of Fallout 4. Um, I'd say there's about, I'd say maybe a 3 to 5 degree difference. Which it, I think it helps. It probably does help. Any lower temperature should help. Um, so, 3 to 5 degree difference in Fallout 4. Let's go um, Star Wars Battlefront now. Um, so, so, Battlefront test. We're going to do Survival on Endor, since I think Endor is probably the most intensive map. It has, like, the most um, intensive textures. It has a lot going on in it, like the torches and all the lakes and trees and stuff. So, we're going to see how it goes. Um, 1080p, highest settings. We're going to start with just a built-in fan. Okay, so now we're walking around, um, running about 30 FPS, uh, but that's kind of normal f for uh, Battlefront. And let's go ahead and do our So, the hottest I've seen, uh, uh, if it'll focus, the hottest I've seen the CPU get is about 87 while loading. And I think the GPU is at its hottest right now, about 81. It seems like the GPU does a little bit a better job of keeping itself cool. Maybe it's because it's not under as much... I mean, it's... It seems like in Battlefront, it's a little more CPU... I mean, GPU bound, and in Fallout, it's more CPU. I don't know, but... Um, the GPU temperatures are definitely higher here compared to Fallout, where the CPUs were higher. Uh, so we'll These be back are in our attempts in a rather complicated scene. 89 for the CPU and 82 for the GPU. So yeah, oh, the we'll hottest I saw the CPU get was 90 degrees. Yes, 90 degrees Celsius. And the hottest I've seen the GPU get is 83. So now we're gonna turn the cooling pad on. See if yeah, uh, right now uh, there's no difference with uh, temperatures. Uh, We've seen, I actually saw the CPU get one degree hotter, which seems like a very weird thing with a cooling pad, but that's because I had a lot of stormtroopers around me, probably. Um, I'm going to go to that same complicated scene. Um, yeah, and the GPU is getting up to 84 now, which, um, this thing's on. This thing is definitely on, because see, it's, it's going against the mouse, and if I lift up, yep, they're spinning. Um... So I'm going to go back to the complicated area and see what the temperatures are like. I went to a pretty complicated scene. Again, no temp difference. Um, this is this is getting me a bit mad. Um, this is just ridiculous. This is, this is, it's, it's putting up cold air. Why isn't it, there's barely any holes on the bottom of my computer for it to go in, so... Yeah, maybe that, but still, it's it's cooling the shell of the computer, which should do something, but, um, yeah, no difference again. 
in uh, a complicated area in Belfront. So we're gonna do this for about two more minutes and see if, um, see how so it ends. While I was just running around, uh, the CPU is around 89, still rather warm. Uh, I didn't see a GPU. Actually, I did. It was about 83, I believe. So, in conclusion, Star Wars Battlefront, this does pretty much no difference. So we're actually gonna do one more game, uh, just to see since two doesn't seem like enough to, to test something. So, in Fallout 4, we had an improvement. In this, in Battlefront, we haven't, but let's try, uh, one more game. We're gonna go with something a little easier, um... Not that my computer's having a hard time, um, I, I'm getting around 30 FPS in Battlefront, always good. Um, we're gonna go with CSGO and see how that Okay, goes. so we're gonna go, um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive now. Um, this, this I don't expect high temperatures in, since it's a really easy game, but not, it, it requires strategy, definitely, but for computers, this is an easy game to run, um. But it can generate some fan noise, because I think it does have some pretty nice graphics. Um, so we're going to run a high 1080p, and I don't know what map we're going to do. I think probably we're going to try it on Dust, Dust or Dust 2. And we're in CSGO, we're going to surf, we're going to do a surf map, and we're going to do a normal map. Uh, I'm going to go with Dust 1 for the test with just the normal game mode. So, so the highest I've seen for temperatures are 78 on the GPU and 84 on the CPU, which is kind of expected. Counter-Strike's not an uh, intensive game. I'm getting about 84 FPS in it, so yeah. Uh, test since I picked up a grenade. So I threw that and see if that did anything the temperatures. Uh, so the highest I saw the CPU out was I think 83. 84 and the uh, highest I saw the GPU at was I think about 78 so now we're gonna turn the fan on no no forgot we have to surf for about two minutes too and let's see how that goes and surfing maps are not exactly intensive the surf map um, I'm gonna surf for a few minutes check temperatures and temperatures are pretty yeah. low in surf maps around 75 76 so yeah um pretty cool pretty cool um, so we're going to surf for a few, about a minute or two more, and I'll tell you the final temperatures. Then we're going to do dust one again with the fan on, and then surf with the fan on. See how okay, so, uh, I just checked temperatures again. Uh, 79 is the hottest I've seen the CPU get, and about 74 for the GPU. So now we're going to do dust with the fan and surf master with the fan and then i'll give you my final reviews on this um so laptop. for temps we saw the cpu get to 87 and the gp is staying around 75 so again this is this is not making much of a difference whatsoever um the only difference we've really seen for a game so far is fallout so we're going to um do this for another minute and see it. So overall, the highest I saw the CPU get to was 87, and the highest I saw the GPU get to was 76. So yeah, somewhat higher uh, CPU temperatures, I think. Uh, I don't know. So now we're going to do a surf match and see um, see if the temps change there. Since the temps I saw are the CPU low. get to about 77. The GPU got to, um, I think, about 75. So... I'm pretty sure it's around the same temps, uh, so yeah, we're gonna surf for about our main. So, yeah. 78 we saw for the CPU, and about 76 for the GPU. Version, this is kind of more of a meh cooler, um, I guess I would recommend it, because my computer feels noticeably cooler. It doesn't have much of an effect on temperatures, as the only game we saw an effect on temperatures on is Fallout 4. And we didn't see anything in CSGO, and we didn't see any difference in Battlefront. So, um, I guess I would recommend buying this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing slash review video of this Habit laptop cooler. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like it, subscribe if you're new, and tell us the video, and suck, goodbye.